We've learned some basics of Swift and some fundamental Swift UI objects. Unfortunately, what we've done as a demo doesn't look so nice. So let's get together the beginnings of a fun app to order pizza. I'm going to start by closing our current app by pressing the X in the corner. And we're going to go ahead and get a new app. So we'll go down where it says more playgrounds and hit app. And that makes me a new copy. I'm going to tap on the name here and I'm going to change the name to Huli Pizza Takeout. Hit done. And I'll go into the app. Let's open the sidebar and we'll change the name of the app here as well. So change the name here again to Huli Pizza Takeout. And I'm going to pick an accent color, and we're going to use green this time. So I'm going to just pick the green under the accent color. And I can go ahead and close that. And my placeholder won't matter that much this time, because we're going to change it eventually. You'll see that we've got our starting place marker pieces here. I'm going to start by changing where text is here. So I'm going to tap on text, and you'll see that it actually highlights the whole thing. And what that lets you do is let you move it. So if you hold it down, you can move it to above image just by dragging with your finger like that. All right, and I'll get rid of my keyboard for a sec. We don't need the sidebar anymore, so I'll move that away. And if we look at the preview, we'll see now that Hello World is on top. I'm gonna make a couple more changes to my code here. So I've got Hello World here. Let's change this to something else. So I'm going to just get rid of what's in here and make it Huli Pizza Company on top. I'm going to add some modifiers that we talked about last time. And we'll use font. We get a dot here. And I want a large title so you can hit the L. Here you see large title, hit return. Then move it over. Hit BO for bold and there's bold. There we go, we got a nice big size Huli Pizza Company sign. And I'm gonna change my globe here. I'm gonna change it to rectangle.fill. There's a whole bunch of shapes right in the SF symbol, so it makes it very easy for us to use those. Now I'm gonna add one more piece here, and where it says image scale large, let's return there. Let's make that also font large title. SF symbols can actually take font sizes here. So you can actually make it bigger by cheating and changing the type here. And we're starting to get a different looking app. We have yet to talk about that keyword up on top, which is highlighted, vStack. vStack is a special object that takes code as a parameter. We call these closures. You denote a closure by a code block made of at least a set of curly brackets. You'll find code blocks in many places in Swift. The code block of vStack lists in order the Swift UI views to be displayed vertically. So we display text, then an image, which in this case is our rectangle. Now I can add another one here, so I'm gonna go just after that and press return. And let's put in divider. And there you see it's up on top. So let me hit that. And I'll Put some parentheses in. And you can see on our preview that we now have a line. And dividers make lines. Now we've seen spacer before. Spacer has a role of pushing all content in a direction. They fill up all available space. So if I put spacer on the end of this, at the bottom of this V stack, I'll push everything up to the top. And there we go, we've pushed everything up to the top now. We could change background color of the stack with a modifier added after the code block. So I can go to the end of my vStack code block here. Let's make sure I get the right spot here. Yep, there it is. So there's vStack. And you can see at the bottom under the gray with the two dots, that's where the end of the vStack is. So I could put a modifier at that point. So I'm gonna tap over there. I'm gonna go return one more time to put it underneath. And I'll hit dot. 
background and there's background so I'll just hit return and then inside a background I'll put a color now you can use this color selector to help you out here so if you hit that plus at the top and then hit the paint palette you'll see that you get a whole bunch of different colors that you have available to you now I'm gonna make my background green and you'll see that presents a problem because our accent color is green and that makes the rectangle disappear. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and change this. I'm not gonna use accent color for this. So I'm gonna back up out of here and I'm gonna use the same thing. I'm just gonna go into the plus, go here, and we're just gonna make this black. So just go over here and make that black. It's a nice easy color to keep things straight. All right, and so now we've made a black square like so. Now there's another common stack you can use for horizontal arrangement and that's the H stack. It arranges views horizontally. As stacks are themselves views, you can have stacks inside other stacks. For example, just below the divider here, I'm going to put another version of this and that's the H stack for the horizontal stack. And there it is. So I can go to H stack and hit return. And I'm going to be using a code block with this. So I'm going to use the curly braces. And there we go. And I'm going to put return. And I'm going to put in two things here. I'm going to start with an image. And let's do system name. And we're going to use quotes. And we'll use circle fill. And you can see there's a circle that pops up there. And then next to that, I'm going to use text. And in there, I'm going to put the word menu item. And you can see that these are now aligned next to each other along the horizontal here, going from a leading edge to a trailing one. Notice I didn't say left to right because that can change with some languages. Now I can align this as well by using a spacer. So I can just put return here. And there's a spacer. And you can see by putting the spacer on the last part, it pushes everything from the trailing edge towards the leading edge. So the dot is all the way on one end. You can nest these as deep as you want. I'll add another V stack to add a description under menu item. So I'm first going to encompass a menu item with this. So I'll start here and I'm going to put another V stack. And there's V stack. And then I'll get my curly braces for my code block. And I'm going to tap on text. And I'm going to move it into there. And then after that, I'm going to add another text. And this one's going to be menu description. And you'll notice something weird happened here. That the menu item and the menu description are centered alignment. And we don't want that. We're going to really want a leading alignment here. Now, I'd have to use two spacers to make these into uh, H stacks and do all that, which is kind of a pain in the neck to do. You're fortunately, there is actually a parameter for V stack. So if you tap over by V stack and put in a set of parentheses, you'll actually see that there's one that I'm not going to actually hit return for, which has alignment in it. So I'm just going to put in alignment. and a colon for the parameter, and then a dot. And you can see we've got different ways of aligning. And this is aligning perpendicular to the stack. And you can get those kinds of things. And for an H stack, it would be different ones would be top and bottom. But for a V stack, you're gonna get the alignment in this way, and we're gonna want leading. We can see that it's now aligned to the left side or the leading edge, which again, depends on your language. This is looking good. We've built a wireframe for our app. Wireframes are common in app development, where developers use place markers like circles, rectangles, and a few place marker words to develop the look without worrying about the content. There's usually one more menu item on a menu, though, and in our next lesson, we'll look at a way we can get more menu items into our app.